Hey, what's going on everybody? Josh Cathcart here with Hitting Done Right. For this next, uh, basically, instructional video, it's not really gonna be a drills video. I'm gonna talk about the top three things needed for a successful baseball swing, okay? Now, I'm not going to include the bat speed and launch quickness and all of that. This is more how the barrel comes through the zone, okay? So you've got depth, zone coverage, and adjustability, okay? How do we achieve those things? Why is it important? Before I dive into this, I would like to ask y'all to all like and subscribe to the channel. We're gonna have new videos coming out weekly. Um, gonna have some teaser videos so you know what's coming. All kinds of hot stuff coming out. So um, with that being said, let's go ahead and dive into this. Top three things for a successful baseball swing. All right, y'all, so for this video, we're talking about three things that are needed for a successful baseball swing. Um, and like I said in the intro, we're not gonna deal with bat speed and launch quickness and all that. Obviously, those are extremely important. This is gonna deal more with how the barrel enters and stays through the zone, which allows us depth in the barrel, zone coverage, and therefore, if I have those things, now I have the ability to make adjustments if need be. All right, so I have our target ball here out front. Now, this is pretty standard setup. If I was to take my stride right now, my front foot would be pretty much even with this, and that would be the correct contact point for that pitch right down the middle. I have this T on the backside to represent both depth and then zone coverage, because you can start to create barrel depth on the back, but then not cover the zone. And the way that happens is if I was to dump the barrel back behind me, I'm actually getting depth, but now as I come up, I would have this uppercut swing, or I get here and I flip it, and so I'm not covering the hitting zone very well with that, okay? So we have to be able to put those two elements together. So if I standard set up, Stance, load, into launch. Now, as I get into my sequence with the turn right here, I have this back tee. I wanna be able to stay inside of that, but I also want the barrel working back as I'm making that move. I don't wanna be really steep. I would be coming in real steep here, missing the back part of the zone, and I don't wanna have the barrel way below my hands here where I feel like I'm coming up through the zone. I want that barrel to flatten out, stay inside that tee, okay? A really good visual for young players is the back corner of home plate, okay? If I can get that barrel back behind me and then as I start to turn, I can get the barrel behind the ball. You'll notice this is directly behind the ball at the back of home plate. That's the back of the zone. And then I can take this all the way into impact. That would give me my depth then that would give me my zone coverage. Now, adjustability. If this is a breaking ball, okay, anything off speed, as long as I have the ability to be from back to front, I can make these adjustments down with my legs, down with my hands, if need be. But if my swing is coming in this way, I don't have that time, okay, I don't have that path to make adjustments, and especially if I'm coming up and the ball is breaking down, those two things are never gonna work out, okay? So you can take full swings with this, making sure not to hit that back tee. That would be casting out and getting around, and you don't wanna be chopping down, hitting ground balls, or popping it up. So pretty easy setup for this. Create the barrel depth as I'm working back, create the zone coverage, from back to front, and in turn, your adjustability will be better. So, I hope that helps. That's the three things that a successful baseball swing needs as it pertains to barrel path. 